Hello everyone, this is Jim with Jim's Garage Toys. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to do a quick video on wheel spacers, how to install them properly, and kind of talk about some of the myths uh, about them that are floating around, people thinking that they're dangerous and uh, should never use them. And uh, they're, they're dangerous if you don't use them properly and install them properly, but that's true with just about anything. So I want to go ahead and show everybody the proper way to install them so that you can safely rely on them. I've used them on various vehicles for decades and never have had a problem. So I will go ahead and go through this process and we will get them installed. I'm actually installing some on my 2017 RAV4 because the wheels are so sucked in on that and I want to pull them out a little bit and make it look a lot better. So with that being said, let's get going. So this is what I picked up. These are KSP <coughs> wheel spacers and this is what it looks like so you can see right up here it's a five by four and a half or which is equivalent to five by 114.3 so h20 means that it is a 20 millimeter thickness so that is the thickness right here 20 millimeters so you can see the holes this is where the OEM studs will come through and then you use these lug nuts on there to tighten those down and then the OEM or aftermarket lug nuts that you use will go onto these studs here. So the key to this is you want to get a billet aluminum and a billet aluminum spacer means that it was made from one solid piece of aluminum. So they cut it out and it will fit perfectly. You want to also make sure that you get the proper center bore. That is this right here. This is a hub centric center bore on this vehicle. They are, that is the 60.1. It's a 60.1 millimeter center hub bore. So this lip right here is the exact same thing and same size as the OEM hub. And I will show you that when we take the wheel off. So with that being said, let's go over and um, jack up the vehicle and let's get started on the first one. So a few things to have. I've got my floor jack. I've got a jack stand. Always want to do that for safety. There's my spacer. And then I've got all the tools that I use to remove and install as well as my a torque wrench right over there. So here you can kind of get from this angle. Actually, it doesn't look as bad through the camera as it does in person, but okay. We got it jacked up with the jack. I've got the jack stand placed underneath. So let's go ahead and take this off. And instead of manually, I like to use this. So. Saves a lot of time. There we go. So I get that off. So the first thing that I do is I re remove all of the lug nuts that were spun onto here because you're gonna use them on these studs. So what I wanted to point out is you see this rim right here. This is the same thing. This is the hub centric rim that's on this. So you want this size to be the same as this size and it will perfectly fit up into this center bore and make it nice and snug. So the first thing you do is put this on, make sure that it seats right that this fits over. Now, this piece right here now looks identical to this piece. There's no difference whatsoever other than we are mounting it 
out a little more. One thing I want to point out also is on most cars, if you have less than 25 millimeters, as far as the thickness here, you will not completely cover these studs. If you have a 25 millimeter or greater, then you won't have any problem. But with these, you want to make sure that your wheel that you're putting on has space to clear these studs. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So looking at the back of the wheel, you can see right here, right here, and all the way around, there's one in between every set of holes for the studs. So you can see this is cut out. So it's to allow you to clear the space for your OEM. So I'm doing 20 millimeters, so there's only just a little tiny uh, piece of it. If I was doing 15, then I would really want to check it and make sure that these are deep enough. Some wheels I see, they're very deep. Others are more shallow. So that's one big safety thing that you want to make sure that yours clear completely. And I'll show you how to check that when I get to that point. So at this point, I put some Loctite on each of these. I like to use the blue personally because it, if I need to take it off, it makes it easier, but it does secure it and they're not gonna back off even with the blue, only if you wanna take them off. So I start all these. Okay, so that is on there. So, just like your wheels, you need to torque these. So, gotta make sure. So Toyotas are 76 foot-pounds. This is a very big safety issue. So make sure that you torque them properly. Now, you can see, I'm hoping you can from this camera angle, that, let me change it a little bit for you, how these stick out just a little bit. Not very much, but just a little bit. So you can see if this was a 15 millimeter that I would want to make sure those holes cleared. I think those wheels would, but always check on the wheels that you're getting ready to do. Now at this point, this is exactly what I saw before when I took the wheel off. My adapter's on, so now all I gotta do is put the new tire on and tighten everything up. I, whenever I have the tire off, I always shoot it and click with some brake cleaner. Make sure that if there's any dust or dirt in there that I can help clean that out. Okay. So let me go get the tire we'll mount that on we'll torque the lug nuts and we'll be good and we'll drop it and I'll show you exactly how different it looks so another little tip about tires so we know that this is 60.1 millimeters because it's the same center bore size as the OEM hub right behind it so if you have an aftermarket wheel these come bigger so you need to get a centering ring. This on the inside is 60.1 to match up with this perfectly. See that? Slides right on. Keeps everything nice and tight and well balanced. So 
If you have an OEM wheel, it will be 60.1. You don't have to worry about anything. So these are aftermarket wheels. These are Inkies. So I'm going to slide this in, pop that in there. Earlier, I told you about how to check. And the first way you can do that is when you push this on, is making sure that it seats all the way up and there's no wobble, which there's not. So we'll take our lug nuts for these. So this is looking down at the hub. There's the spacer right there. Here's the end of the wheel and you can see that line right there. So you want, and you can feel it. I can actually go along and I can feel it and I can visualize it and make sure that that is tight, that that's not sitting away. If the holes were not deep enough or if you did not have holes, then there would be a space on there and the wheel would wobble. That's not good. That's dangerous and that's not safe. So you, this is what I'm talking about, how the, the product itself, if you get a good quality one, is not going to cause you problems. If you install it properly and it's good quality, you'll never have an issue. But you have to do both. Buy a good quality one and install it properly. So... As long as you do that, you'll be golden. You'll have years and years of use from it without any issues. So let's get these torqued. I'll drop it down and show you what it looks like. Okay, we're going to go through and torque all these real quick. So you can see now it lines up just about perfect with the fender. So my lens is over here. So if I, I line the lens up, there's no poke to it. I don't like poke, but it's, it's lined up right with the top of there. So I'm very happy. 20 millimeter I think was perfect. Now let's go ahead, rinse and repeat, and do it for the same, the same technique for the other three. So here's the right rear. And it's just, it's tucked a little bit, but not bad. And actually this is something I always look at too, is the, the mud flap right here. So the tread pattern is just inside the edge of the mud flap to help it keep all the debris in. So, there's the left rear, and here's the left front. Look at that, tuck it over. Look at that. Just tucked in. It looks nice and flush with it. So, I am very happy. They were so tucked in before I didn't like it. So this is perfect for what my taste is. So anyway, that's how you safely install some wheel spacers. So hey guys, appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, please holler. Be happy to answer anything. And until next time, we'll see you down the road.